Good day, everyone. Once again, we are back together and uh, uh, welcome to our channel to those of you who are joining us for the first time. I just wanted to have a quick word, you know, just uh, to advise for those of you particularly who are writing the IEP exam. And of course, and I know that those who will be writing GDE will be writing uh, physical science and mathematics soon. Um, but uh, in particularly for, uh, I mean, in particular rather for uh, IEP candidates, um, you might be looking at, uh, you know, a situation where you are finding yourself panicking about uh, perhaps tomorrow, uh, the exam that is coming up. Uh, I would say to you, number one, just make sure that you work smart. Okay, so um, right now would be a time to sort of consolidate your knowledge uh, on things that you know. And um, of course, you know, just have a look at uh, maybe some concepts that you are seeking clarity on. Of course, you can find all the resources in this channel. Um, I would say look at definitions, you know, uh, look at definitions. They cost, constitute um, they constitute a lot of marks. Um, also, just make sure if I were you and you're finding yourself that, um, you know, you're in a position where you are really confused and uh, you're not you're not sure which sections to look at. I'd really strongly advise. Number one, look at Newton's laws. OK, if I were you and I didn't know anything, I'd say right now, look at Newton's laws. Uh, look at laws of kinematics. OK, so that's, uh, you know, moving objects and, and, and so on. So kinematics, very, very important section. Um, you know, that's all, that also involves a vertical projectile motion as well as uh, horizontal motion. Uh, that's important. And I, do, I would also look at the electricity section. So those are the three sections that I would strongly recommend that you look at. All right. So please work smart. Make sure that you know you master those sections. If you haven't at this moment, please don't panic too much. OK, uh, as I said, look at, uh, you know, the resources that we've provided in this channel. OK, number two, um, you know, get sufficient rest. OK, I know some of you, uh, because of time, you might be thinking at this moment, ah, but, uh, you know, I need to work throughout the night. What's going to happen is that if you work throughout the night, you know, what we call cross nighting, what may end up happening is that you might find that your brain eventually shuts down. And it might shut down at the critical moment when you are sitting in front of the exam paper and you need it to function at its peak. All right. So what many people tend to do is that, you know, they rely on energy drinks and, and, and all of that. Please make sure that you get sufficient rest. My recommendation personally, I would say uh, at the very latest, say 10 o'clock, you are uh, in bed, you are sleeping. All right. Uh, uh, don't try to panic too much and, you know, try to absorb a, a lot because what it might do, you might end up confusing yourself and, you know, um, forgetting even those things that you probably uh, were, you know, confident about. So make sure that you get sufficient rest today so that you can function at your peak tomorrow. Now, uh, another very important thing, number three, you know, make sure that you get uh, sufficient electrolytes. You know, you need water, uh, you need uh, water or, you know, something that is good with electrolytes, because remember, your mind uh, needs to function at its best. OK, so uh, getting those electrolytes going uh, would actually ensure that you, you know, your, your mind is able to function at its peak. OK, so make sure that you get those electrolytes, drink water. OK, and of course, a combination of that with sufficient rest will make sure that you function at your peak tomorrow. OK, so things to avoid, maybe caffeine, you know, stay away from that. OK, uh, or energy drinks, you know, uh, that are uh, that have high uh, caffeine content. All right. Because what will happen is that, of course, you'll work at your peak today, but Come exam time, you find that uh, your your system crashes and, you know, I've heard of people say they've had blackouts and stuff like that. Uh, so just make sure that you avoid uh, caffeine. All right. And then number three, uh, number four, rather, I would say, um, you know, stay away from textbooks. I know this may be counterintuitive, right? Uh, because, you know, you're thinking, of course, that's where I should be looking at the textbook the most. 
But I'd say stay away from the textbook. And the reason for that is that obviously, if you're still having to rely on the textbook at this point in time, it means that you haven't mastered that content and you might find yourself confusing yourself even more. What would I do now? Of course, I try to watch as uh, much videos uh, as possible, um, you know, just to make sure that you, you polish up on that. I would say instead of, you know, having to go to the textbook, rather go to uh, past exam question papers, okay? Um, where you try to practice as much as possible from past exams. And those are the ones that you're going to use, um, you know, to just make sure that you, you, you master the content. Of course, you do the questions and then you, uh, you mark thereafter. So rather stay away from the textbook as much as possible. Okay. Number five, which is the last one. Please don't panic. Don't give up. Okay. Right, I want to say to you, if you're finding yourself at this moment, you know, that um, you are panicking and, you know, you probably haven't studied uh, uh, as much as you should have, okay, there's still going to be another opportunity for you to write. Please inquire at the center where you'll be writing, okay, uh, if there are other opportunities for you to rewrite probably in November, Okay, uh, most centers probably do have that opportunity. Um, you can make inquiries about that. And I just want to say, um, we do have an upgrading class that we have um, at half past eight. And of course, it is paid for. Uh, you can join us there if you're finding yourself, uh, you know, in a situation where you were supposed to be prepared, but you are considering writing in November. I know for sure for the GDE people, um, uh, even though you will be writing supplementary exams now, you actually will be given an opportunity to write again in November. So if you're in a state of panic and you were not sufficiently prepared, make sure that after you finish these exams, you know, of course, you apply again to write in November. And of course, we'll be here um, if you need our information. That's info at mlungesingosi.co.za. You can get us there, join our classes, and uh, we'll make sure that, you know, we become your plug, not just on YouTube, but uh, we go through quite a lot of uh, other content that, um, you know, we, we have not really covered uh, on our YouTube channel. But otherwise, please continue, uh, you know, uh, using this channel as your plug, and please tell others to, you know, uh, subscribe, uh, you know, uh, make sure that you hit that uh, uh, notification bell, you know, so that you are alerted every time that you are posting a new lesson. Uh, but also, please share, share, share. Tell as many people as you possibly can. I think this uh, platform has been really, really helpful, you know, for, you know, for many people around our country um, and even beyond, by the way, uh, you know, to try and assist you in your maths and science content. Otherwise, ladies and gents, it's really been a pleasure to try and be of assistance to you as much as I could. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.